I know that loss, I know that place of heartache when someone that you love, a dream that you had that God gave you and it didn't seem to come out to pass the way that you'd hoped, a ministry that you thought God was going to birth through you or God was going to do something through you and, and, and it didn't turn out the way that you'd hoped and the devastation of that. We can be like Naomi and say, I'm bitter, or we can be like Ruth and say, I don't understand right now but I'm going to trust the Lord and later we'll talk. Welcome back to another wonderful Wednesday night. We're so grateful for all of you folk here at Light of Judah and others who are joining with us and experiencing what the Lord has for us on this very night. God has been so faithful to us and we've had such an exciting season and time. And we've got some wonderful guests and I'm going to introduce, first of all, uh, Marlene Yo. Marlene, just say hi to the folk. Hi, everybody. It's good to be back. Yeah, Marlene, you are just becoming a, a part of Lion of Judah. I know you're from Haverhill and you, and you have your own ministry there. It's, it's a beautiful thing. But we know that God has really knit our hearts yes. together. And, and God supernaturally has knit our hearts with Angelo, Angelo Raja Durai. Angelo, yes. say hi to the folk. Hi. It looks like I'm always on your program, Brian. You know? <laughs> it's like the second week in a row. Yeah. Well, <laughs> becoming a habit. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, we had one program between us so, yeah, okay. <laughs> that had uh, Bernice and, and the wonderful people that are going to Honduras and, and, and their mission there. And, and so, but, but really what, what we're talking about is we had just come through an amazing time. An amazing time, sure, certainly with that Satan Con thing where people were, uh, were I'm, I am absolutely certain that the people of God outnumbered the, the people who were of the e evil, you know, Satan, and they were uh, sort of adoring him or magnifying him and, and that, even though they say they're atheists and they don't believe in God or Satan or anything like that. It's a little odd, but, uh, but God was working. And then right on the heels of that came this amazing time that we had with the Koreans coming here. Yeah. And, and Marlene, I just would like for us to be able to just talk a little bit about that. But before sure. we do, I'm just going to read this portion of scripture yeah. that's taken from, and this, this is from uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 12 through 16. And this is reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. It mm -hmm. says, Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night, and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And then verse 13, it says, when I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, mm -hmm. and forgive their sins, and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open, and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house, that my name may be there forever. And my eyes mm -hmm. and my heart mm -hmm. will be there perpetually. Amen. And then in Leviticus, you brought this as well, 25 verse 10. And you shall consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. And each of you shall return to his possession and each of you shall return to his family. Mm -hmm. Oh, just open this up for us and just share with us. Look in the camera and just share about what the Lord was speaking to your heart concerning that. Wow. Well, because the Koreans had received the blessing of the Lord when uh, Reverend Billy Graham had gone to Korea 50 years ago, they wanted to come back to America and they wanted to, they call it pay, it, pay a debt. Now, we don't think they owe us a debt, 
but they feel obligated and want to come and pay a debt. And the debt that they want to pay is that Billy Graham was sent from America as a missionary, an evangelist, brought revival to South Korea, and they are so overjoyed and of what God has done in their nation, their country, because of that, that they wanted to come to America because all the world watches what's happening in America. And what they have said is America is in trouble yeah. and we need to come to yeah. America. And you know, the Korean War, um, my dad and maybe people that you know uh, served in the Korean War, but my father served in that Korean War and it was really, to mm -hmm. simplify it, it was this. Mm -hmm. The American people went to stay in that country to push back communism from coming into their country. Mm -hmm. And so they're obligated, uh, they feel, to America for their democracy. And so they wanted to come at the 50-year anniversary of Billy Graham's crusade to be able to bless America because they see our need. And it's interesting because this scripture verse in Leviticus chapter 10, uh, verse 10, chapter 25, in the 50th year, Mm -hmm. Proclaim liberty throughout all on, of the inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee. They shall return every man to his possession and return every man to his family. Isn't that what we need in America? Mm -hmm. yes. That men return to their family. Mm -hmm. And so we're really believing. Mm -hmm. We prayed for the seven mountains, uh, all of the seven mountains. And I don't know if you want to get into any of that here, but uh -huh. um, one of them is the very first thing is praying for the family. Mm -hmm. And so yes. we really need a move of God in the family unit. We need a move of God in the church. We need a move of God in the nation, in the culture, in our government. We need a move of God. And so it was an amazing time of praying together. Well, you know, this was just the, it, it, like the impetus that was all building yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And then Angelo, of course, he, as we know, he is the National Day of Prayer director for the state of Massachusetts. And he is led in such a humble way, in such a beautiful spirit. And so Angelo, maybe you can just pick it up from there just a little bit about what God was doing in your heart, even right. as these Koreans came to pray and encourage us. I, I This whole experience of the Korean team coming, right, right from the beginning has been such a blessing. So I, I remember you sent me an email saying, hey, there is this person called Marlene, You've probably met her before, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and there's this team from Korea yeah, that's yeah, coming, yeah. and uh, you know we would like to, you know, have them as part of the National Year Prayer. They're starting their events on the day of National Year Prayer. I got all excited, and I talked to Marlene, and I remember that first conversation so well, because out of my mind was coming these words that I was like, Angelo, don't, don't, you know, don't talk about the state house. We don't have a room there. Don't talk about, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't say these things, right? Don't just open your right, mouth and, right. you know, these things don't happen like that. And, uh, but I was telling Marlene, Marlene, look, uh, this is what God is putting in my heart. I have no idea how this is going to happen. And every step of the way, it's been a blessing. Every time we got together mm -hmm. to pray, we, and then for, I think, a month or so, we didn't have anything happen. I had some problem with my eye, and I was in a very desperate state. I couldn't see, they said, bleeding in the eye, some weird things. And I was going to go to the doctor and both of you prayed for me mm -hmm. while we were talking about this Korean thing and said, Lord, let him get a good report. And exactly as you all prayed for, wow. I should just share this because this he is important. Should. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went to the doctor. They, they put all the numbing thing on the eye. They did all of that. They were getting ready to inject it and do all sorts of things. But at the last moment, he said, let me just take oh, a picture. God. Praise God. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And he took a picture and he said, I have no idea how this is. This Praise is all God. cleared up. Uh, and he was really surprised. Yeah. And he said, it's going to come back in two weeks. I want you to. And it's been now four months, three yeah, months, something. Not back in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you know, so it, every step of the way has been has been a blessing. And even the way God arranged for the day of National Year, till two days ago or three days ago, I think we didn't even have a room in the state house. Right. No place, right? Right. We would have gathered in the outdoor or something or the steps or something like that is mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, through Charlotte's help and, mm -hmm. you know, through this representative we came to know, we got this stately room, you know, the beautiful, reading room of the Senate. Beautiful room. Beautiful room. And yeah. the senator came, the representative came, the chief of staff was sitting there. He offered to take the Korean team to go see the state. I didn't do any of that. Oh. <laughs> Every step of the way, it felt like God was really undertaking uh, for it. And I, I, I was so blessed. I was so blessed by this, uh, the team that came. And, you know, and God is actually 
it's like you know, Marlene was praying before we started, like God kissing us, you know, yeah, and yeah, it's just yeah. his love towards us. That's all I can say. Well, I, I think it's really important. I, I know some of you who are watching, you know, kind of maybe you, you, you're not quite connecting with all that's happened and all that's mm. going on. And, and I, I, I get it a little bit because when you're not actually present in yeah. something yeah. taking place, yeah. it's very hard for you to hear people talk about it and, and see sort of an, enthu an, an enthusiasm about, about some of these things and, and yet you can feel like a bit, a bit removed and kind of like people are reporting about, about something. But I, I don't know what else to do except just to tell what took place and what God has done and what God is mm. doing. Mm. We are in the midst. I, I mean, that was a beautiful analogy that you, that you used, Marlene, that God has just kissed us. You know, he has just embraced us. Mm -hmm. There is something that is bubbling up. It's yeah. not like it's not something that's that's way down there and you can kind of hear it gurgle. Mm. It's like this is bursting mm. and it's bursting in our lives. And if we can just see him and receive mm -hmm. him, it's, it's just going to actually do this infectious work yes. throughout the body of Christ mm. first. And then that's what happens. Then it gets into the culture. Yeah. Mm. It, 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 this is how revival always, yeah. always manifests itself. Yeah. That's why you and I, we as members of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. it's so vital and important that we don't disengage, that we don't find a, a way to kind of feel somehow critical or negative or, mm -hmm. or hindered in some way. The enemy, that's how the enemy Ooh. works, but this has just been so precious. Mm -hmm. Marlene, if you would just kind of take and, and begin, first of all, by, by just sharing, because I know it's a little bit of a story we've, we've, we've talked about, but, mm -hmm. but it, not everybody knows this story. And, and so just share about how you saw about the Koreans and their mission and their vision, mm -hmm. and I and I saw it too, but I didn't know what to do with it <laughs> because you know the uh, the restrictions that we have here in Lion of Judah and sure. the constrictions upon us. But you just you just saw it and you took hold of it and 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 brought it into uh, you know uh, uh, an actual experience and and gave the invitation and got a hold of Doug Small and, and Aaron Park. And, Actually, they got a hold of me. Oh, they got a hold of you. <laughs> but you said yes. Yeah, I said yes. <laughs> okay, so well, tell us that story. Yep, yeah, very briefly, 1999, I watched my first transformation video uh, produced by the Sentinel Group, and my life was totally changed. I went from being an in-house Christian to an out-house Christian. <laughs> <laughs> an out-house Christian. Oh, yeah. that's a, that, so, <laughs> kind of a new twist on the words. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what happened is I just said, God, I cannot do business as usual. There is Ooh. something that you're doing across the nations of the world, and I want to be a part of it. Ooh, I was yeah. all alone in the basement of my house when I watched that video, and life changed forever. I went to our youth group, I was the youth pastor at the time, and I said, we're not going to do Christmas as usual. We're going to the city streets. Ooh. We're going to be Christmas for somebody. And so we mm -hmm. did, and it, it, it caused quite a, um, quite a challenge in the local body um, because of some of the things that we did. Not that we were being ridiculously um, rebellious or those kind of things, but we just did things out of the box. We, instead of doing things in-house for Christmas or Easter or all of those times, it's all we all come together and celebrate, we went out and we brought it to the streets. We brought it to the people. Anyway, because of that first transformation video, very long story, I end up being the New England Regional Director for the Sentinel Group for the Journey to Transformation. And Really, we have benefited so greatly by that too. You know, Larry Lane coming here and being yeah. uh, giving his seminar, and yeah. and and I know that Pastor Meche is intent that we're going to do this again, and and, and that. So yeah. it, it, this is amazing. Yep, absolutely. So what happened is when uh, last year the Koreans actually came to America last year, there were twenty cities that they went to, and there were 200 of them. Um, so the Dr. Uh, Aaron Park from Seoul, Korea, who lives in America, and also Pastor Douglas Small, who is the America's prayer meeting, America's, um, uh, sorry, I have it written down. Oh, to, excuse me, Project Pray. 
Thank you. See, <laughs> see we all... Clarification. <laughs> yes. Uh, they were having yeah. a prayer meeting um, uh, regarding them returning back in 2023. Only this time they had 400 Koreans instead of 200. And they wanted to go to 40 cities and send 10 to 40 cities. So I was on this Zoom call for casting the vision for 2023. And I kept waiting to see, they were scrolling all the cities that had applied. I was waiting to see who picked up in Boston because I was going to serve it. I was going to come and do whatever it took to make this thing happen because I wanted to be a part of what God was doing in our capital. And so th nobody had signed up for Boston. And I thought, Lord, can I have them in Haverhill and I'll bring them to Boston for the National Day of Prayer? <laughs> and that's what God did. He granted me that petition because when I watched that transformation video in 1999, I said, God, I want to be a part of what you're doing in the nations of the world. Mm. And he has let me be a part of that. There's so many stories. I can't, we're not going to go into that today. We're yeah. going to stay on this one. Um, but amazing because um, the commitment of what it took was a lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. A yeah. lot. Yeah. That, that's why Ooh. I was hesitant. <laughs> because there was, there was so much required, Ooh. you know, to serve them as a team, transport yeah. them, house them, feed them, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and it was not a small undertaking nope. by any means. But I knew I, knew I needed North Point Bible College uh, in, in our court, and I knew I needed some key people, some key players in New England. And God granted me those relationships, which Lion of Judah is one of them, and mm -hmm. of course Angelo, my new friend. Uh, Mm -hmm. So grateful for Angelo. But so the thing is this, when they came um, in North Point, we lodged them there. Mm -hmm. And North Point uh, was so wonderful to give us their prayer chapel for the whole week. Mm. And um, I'm so grateful for my relationship with North Point oh, and um, all of the relationships that we have. But here's the interesting thing. We brought them to 12 locations during that five days that they were here to pray. And they were key locations. They mm. weren't just, oh, let's take a walk down the street and mm. see, see if we can pray. They were key locations where injustices had happened or revival had happened, or like, for, for instance, the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions, uh, the monument in Bradford that, you know, sending out Adniram Judson, who was married to Anne Hazeltine, who was a Haverhill girl. They were the first mm -hmm. missionary sent out. I mean, mm -hmm. they were key strategic places. And it was such a joy to be in Boston on the National Day of Prayer. Amen. Such a joy. The coordination of Lion of Judah and National Day of Prayer with Angelo and... Um, the the church that we went to the house the church That's on the amazing. hill and the state mm. house every bit of it was god orchestrated mm. every bit of it was divine design and it was so evident in everything that we did up until even this new president at the north point bible college is president tiff shuttlesworth president tiff came and knelt before them on the floor wow. and asked them for prayer and they we spent a whole day praying at the college too it was wow. amazing it's just beyond. And so even what I just shared doesn't even yeah, capture yeah, 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 yeah. the magnitude of what happened. Yeah, and I, and I want to leave a little bit for, for Angelo to of share course. about too as well. Of course. Because Angelo, there's, it was just an incredible yeah. day. Uh, but I'd like to hear it from your perspective and how, how God fit the pieces together and, right. and brought the, the, this into existence because I'm... I'll just share just a little bit about the end of the day that was cold and rainy and we, I expected people to be deadbeat tired and kind of like we went to the bandstand at the last of the day and it was like, well, if we throw up three prayers <laughs> and say good night, <laughs> we, we will have done well <laughs> to even do that. Yeah. But then God took over. So maybe you just share about, yes. about the experience yes. of the day. It was, um, it was really amazing, right? Like right from like the line of Judah, like, you know, in my mind, there was mm -hmm. something, I know there was something special going to happen. I've somehow felt it. Uh, I come from a place where, you know, the different languages are that people don't understand each other. So I, I know that very well. But I also know all of the problems with that, right? In our church mm -hmm. in India, the pastor would speak and four other people translate, right? Yeah. So before you hear right, it again, right. you know, yeah. so I, I know that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that feeling. So I was worried about how do we get to them? But then God was assuring me, like, you know, on the day of Pentecost, you know, all these different things God was telling me. So I, I was expecting something special, to, but I didn't expect so much. <laughs> came to the line of Judah yeah. and like, you know, like they said, hey, this is glass door open. Let's lift our hands towards the state house. Let's lift our hands towards the education department. Let's lift our hands towards the city. Perfect. How, how better location could you have gotten to start yeah, off? For sure. Yeah. 
yeah. right? And the presence of God was so amazing. And I felt like so guilty to stopping it because we had to go to the state house. Mm. I felt mm. like we could have just stayed there yeah. in mm -hmm. the God's presence. Mm -hmm. You know, then the food, it felt like it got multi. There was food left over, right? There was, there was yeah. supposed to be food only for mm -hmm. the people from Korea. That's it. Everybody ate and there was food left over. Well, I think <laughs> Pastor Fei we better thank her for that because she ordered extra because just in faith and 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 there were lots of people that came. Lots and of people lots that of came. People prayed. Wonderful. Right, and people prayed. And then the state house, I was wondering, like, you know, you know, they I, I I didn't know about the you know, I've never been inside the state house, so different people told me like they have to be quiet and you know. Yeah. I was a little worried because these people are full of fire. <laughs> but even in the state house, when we prayed quietly, the presence of God was, I think Charlotte told me this, or you told me this, I don't remember. You know, we sometimes equate, you know, the the volume with the anointing. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> I, 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 that probably was me, because there's, <laughs> you know, it's almost like, in some circles, there is this equating of volume with anointing, and that that's not necessarily so. Mm. You know, the anointing of God can come yeah in the still small voice right in yeah. the quiet yeah. place yeah. Yeah. and we need to be able to receive that as well yes. yeah and so that place was beautiful like you know there's something about that place yeah. it felt different it felt like you know when the representative came and she shared it felt like the church and the government there's something happened there yes. yeah there was something yeah. happened there i yeah. i feel like mm -hmm. god is going to do something he kicked off something there and i got invited to come and meet with the senator Praise oh, God. you did. Praise yeah. God. I didn't yeah. even ask for it. They asked. Praise they asked God. you. Yeah. So there's something going there, yes. right? So yeah. we, we don't That's know awesome. what God is going to do, uh, right? And God is asking me really to pray, to go meet the governor, pray with them, right? You know, I, impossible things, but it's what God is putting in. You know, the people that are listening, pray for that, right? Yeah. That Amen. we would reach out to them in love, right? We've fought yeah. them. We've done all sorts of things. But we want to really love them and yes. show Christ's love for them. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. and the same thing in the church on the hill. It was beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. But the bandstand was, you know, it was like, cold, like you wow. said, right? And and Marlene came with this tiny little speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for, for that, that speaker and your insight to be able to have that to do yeah. worship with. That was so precious. And, and that place was dirty, right? Yeah, it half, was. half a time more I was thinking dirty. like maybe let's more get off. Dirty. Yeah, more than <laughs> more dirty. More than dirty. But presence of God was yeah. awesome. You know, it was so, it felt like such a freedom. It felt <laughs> like, you know, God released something. Yeah. Right? And I couldn't stop from dancing and jumping around. I saw Pastor Elijah Kim jump. I was yeah. kind of going to hold on on him. But it was just God's presence. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, amazing. you know, I mean, what's really amazing to me is, like, some of us aren't young. You know, I, I won't. I won't point any fingers, but some of us aren't young. <laughs> and here, at least for me, you know, I was just jumping like a kid. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't make that happen. You know, I mean, yeah. that's just that's just beyond kind of normal uh, things. And, and and it wasn't like I was being fanatical. Nope. I mean, yeah. it was. You were on fire. Everybody was. <laughs> I mean, it felt normal. <laughs> it felt normal. <laughs> it did. It felt. Exciting and thrilling and, and 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 very normal. Not like it, it, you know, some things can sometimes be done and they seem very out of place. Yeah, you know, it, it right. like forced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. like somebody's doing something and it's a show it's and flesh, you know, it's yeah. in yeah. the flesh and yeah. and and that. We were all just moved by God's spirit yeah. so powerfully, yeah. and then. Bonnie saw this, these young people that were down standing on the steps and invited them to come up. And they, yeah. you know, kind of tentatively <laughs> came up. But then this one young man, you tell the story, yeah. uh, Angelo. You just awesome. tell the story about what happened with him. Yeah, he came. I, I saw, you know, I was looking at them. I didn't know whether to invite them, whether they're mocking. I had no idea, right? right. Because we were making a ruckus there, like, you know, we were on well, fire well, they, dancing. Well, they heard the noise and, and I think it got their attention. Yeah, it was like the day of Pentecost, I guess, right? I you know, think, we were, yeah. It was a ruckus and so I wasn't sure, but I thought Barney called, John from, you know, YVAM, mm -hmm. Michael, all these guys went and just, you know, like embraced them and brought them in. Yeah. 
And then I looked at, there was one person who seemed excited. The other three, their face was down. They mm -hmm. seemed like, oh, I'm not supposed to be here kind yeah, of thing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, this young man came up and he started preaching, yeah. right? I, I don't know what touched him. He said he went to this, uh, I think his name was DeSanto. Uh, um, sorry. Dante. Right. Yeah. So, and he Just think of Inferno. <laughs> yeah. I think of Danita and Dante. So that's okay. okay. <laughs> but he came up and he started saying how God touched him. Yeah. And then after he shared his friends, the face changed. Yeah. Right. That was like something else. And the, it was the time that, uh, Brandt, you had asked us to come in the middle and we were kind of gathered around in a and praying in the middle. Like a huddle. Like yeah. a huddle, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it felt like God just put these people and they couldn't leave, their face was shining, they couldn't stop talking. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the Korean team got around them. That was so beautiful. Yeah. And laid hands on them, prayed for them. And I think yeah. they were really touched. Well, and then two of them actually accepted Jesus as yes. their savior. Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, now, to give context to this, so that you understand, we had no amplification. Yeah. This was not a thing that was done for the public. Right. This was prayer before heaven, yeah. Yeah. but in a public forum, in a yeah. public setting. And so, wow, it was just amazing that these young people came and responded and opened their heart. And, and, and this one young man, I mean, God had touched them, I think, a week or two before. Mm. And it sounded like it was like for maybe the first time in his life or, yeah. or, or first time in a long time. He might have had a little bit of mm. understanding of some of these things because he said that he went to this movie theater and there was a movie that was called In the Name of Jesus. Jesus yeah. and, and that at, after the movie was over, uh, I think there were people that remained and prayed for any people who needed to be delivered. Mm -hmm. Because the person who was presenting in the movie had felt like, you know, much of what Jesus did in his ministry was heal the sick and, mm. and cast out demons Absolutely. And, and deliver people. And, and so he was presenting this that it was a possibility and that people could respond to this and could receive a deliverance. And so there were people that remained in the theater after the movie mm. who were believing people who were willing to pray for right. people. And this young man was delivered according to his own testimony mm. of, of some demonic influences that were binding him in his life. Mm. And so he had been really captured by the Lord. But then he came and he shared, and it just was, it was infectious. Mm. It just was absolutely a, a, amazing. Mm. And so, you know, as is our normal pattern here, we, we want to make sure that we pray, because this, this is our English prayer meeting, you know, and it's, uh, it's what we do on a weekly basis. And so we do <laughs> want to take time, and we do want to actually be serious about praying. We will share some more and we want to share a little bit about the things that are going to be coming up and happening in the future and that that I that we sense that the Holy Spirit may be leading us into. Uh, but it, it, let, let's just pray and mm -hmm. and Marlene, why don't you begin and, and, and you just take sure. us before the Lord in prayer sure. and then Angelo, you pick it up and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Father, I thank you for the seeds that were sown in the hearts of your people during yes. this last week. God, every place that we went and every person that participated was all strategic, it was all divine appointment, yes. it was all orchestrated by you, Lord. And God, I thank you that every seed that was sown and every tear that was shed, even before the Koreans got here, yeah. they gathered together 70 nights from midnight to 2 a.m. in the morning and prayed for us before wow. they even came to pray with us. Yes. Wow. God, that Jesus. level of devotion, that yes. level of fervent, dedicated, Thank passionate you. prayer oh, Jesus. is something that the American church is lacking. Yeah. God, it's, when I watched them pray, I said, this must be what it was like on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Mm. God, there was just yes. such fire, such yes. unity, yes. such love, Thank such you. power. Thank and God, I know that even though we couldn't understand everybody's uh, prayer 
at that time, because we all lifted our voice together, you yes. heard it and you understood it yes. because yes. you're the God of all language. Yes. <clears throat> and yeah. God, I pray that every seed that was sown in prayer, God will bring forth 100 fold. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. God, that the church of Jesus Christ yes. would experience the fire of God like we yes. saw burn in these beautiful people. Yes. And Father, I'm asking God that this revival that's been promised, this last day revival, yes. Lord, we won't just hear about it with our ears. We'll actually see yes, it with our eyes. Lord, we'll man. be a part of the outpouring of the Holy Jesus. Spirit mm -hmm. fire Hallelujah. in this entire region, Boston and beyond. Yes. And God, mm -hmm. you've said that what you do in this capital will touch the nation of America. Yes, and God, I thank you, Father, that you're not a man that you should lie. Yeah. And God, that there is going to be a revival in our day that we've heard of, thank but we're going to see it and be a part of it. And we thank you for it, Father, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Father God, we are so grateful for you. We are so grateful for your church. We are so grateful for your body. We are so grateful for your bride, Lord. We are formed of so many different people from so many walks of life, so many languages and communities and Lord, people that gather together and how wonderful it is when we as Christians, Lord, you unite our hearts together and Lord, we can, they'll know that we are Christians by our love. Yes, thank you. And yeah. Father, and because of that love that you're so shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost and we are yes, so Lord. grateful that we could feel that, Lord, yes. and we could smell the fragrance of your bride, O oh Lord. When we are together, it was amazing. Yes. Lord Jesus, Lord, we long for those days, yes. Lord. We are longing for the long. time, mm. Lord yes. Jesus, when mm. this type of revival would just break forth in every place, Lord Jesus, in the street corners, in the commons, Lord, in the state house, yes. Lord, we are yes. looking yes. for a time yes. of prayer when we can have mm. our senators, our representatives, our governors, Lord, together, and we can get into prayer like this, Lord Jesus, Lord, and our nation would be ruled in righteousness. And Father, we are looking for that, oh Lord. And Father, we are all same in your eyes, whether we speak English or Korean or Tamil. Lord, you understand all of us. And Lord, and you are orchestrating each one of our lives, oh Lord. And Father, even in this time, we pray for those who are listening to this. Lord, we're trying to grasp what actually happened. Yes. Father, and as like Brandt was saying, Mm -hmm. I pray that they would experience it as well yes, right Lord. now, yes, mm -hmm. that they would with begin to Lord. feel in their Thank heart the Lord. joy that we have experienced Amen. and the feelings Amen. that we have yes, inside Lord. would flow out through these screens, yes, O oh Lord, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. and touch the people mm -hmm. that they would hear mm -hmm. this, O oh Lord, and get excited for you, Lord Jesus. Yes. And Lord, and not only just get excited, but Lord, offer themselves to you to be instruments, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, that day before the National Day of Prayer, we prayed that you would use each one, Lord, yes. and you did. Yes. Yes. We had you, people Lord. that helped us uh, direct us to the State House. We had people that opened the doors and helped us with parking. We had people that opened the stands for us. We had people that cooked food for us. Lord, there were so much things. Each one did something that day and it was beautiful. And Lord, we don't have much to do. <laughs> it's all about you. All You're working. You. We are yes, just Lord. your instruments. You. Yes, we are just Lord. that stick or bone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Lord, just just use us, oh Lord. Yes, yes, and Lord. use those people that are listening as well. Lord, we thank yes, you for this team from Korea. Thank you for using them to encourage us, oh Lord. Yes. And we want to be encouraged. And Lord, how behold of good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Mm -hmm. There the Lord commands your mm -hmm. blessing. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord for this yeah, times of unity. Yes, we give ourselves in your hands. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Father, we're just grateful that you are watching over mm -hmm. your people. Yeah. That you are accomplishing your purposes in yes, the earth. Yes. That you give us the ability to just be with you. Yes. To hear your voice. Thank you. To discern your wooings, your Thank drawings, you. yes. and be able to just respond to you yes. and give place yes. and open Jesus. our spirits Thank and you. allow you to just yes. come Thank and envelop you. us. And so, Holy Spirit, we ask again Thank that you. this very hour, this very evening, yes. this very moment, as yes. we are sharing here around Jesus. this table, 
you are moving mightily in the yes, hearts yes, of men and Lord women. Jesus. Father, we just know that it's yes. all about Jesus. you accomplishing Thank you, Jesus. your purposes. Yes. It's about you doing your yes, work, Lord. Lord it's Jesus. about you, Thank you ministering your grace to each Amen. and every one. Father, Amen. we're all empty. Amen. We're all broken. Jesus. We are all yes. without until Thank we have you, that infilling Thank of your spirit. Jesus. So, Lord, we say yes. yes. We invite yes. you Lord, again. Jesus. Lord, Thank would you just you, open Jesus. our hearts. Yes. Open Jesus. our spirit Thank man you. to be able to say, you deserve the glory. Yes. You, you yes. deserve yes. the praise. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. All we want to do is Thank just you. echo with the Thank saints you, of old. Yes. We oh. want to amplify Thank what the you. angels in heaven are yes. decreeing yes. Lord Jesus. around yes. your throne in this very moment. Yes. Thank Lord. you. You, O oh Lord, are worthy yes. to open the seals. Thank you, O oh Lord, you. are able you, Lord. to release yes. into the earth oh, the outpouring yes. that is going to win and Thank draw you, all Jesus. men. You said, Hallelujah. if you be lifted up, you will draw all yes. men unto you. Jesus, thank Father, you. we simply are in agreement. Yes. We're saying, yes. you yes. are lifted up. Yes. Yes. We join in whatever thank little you. bit of leverage we can bring yes. to lift you up, to exalt you, to thank be able you. to praise you, because it's all about you, Lord. Yes. It's Jesus. all about you. Thank Do you. your work. Do your work. Jesus. Your work, your way, with your people in yes. this day. Amen. And we will praise yes. you. We will yes. praise yes. you. Yes. We will praise you. Yes. We can't just let the rocks do yes. it. We can't let the stones Jesus. get all yes. of the praise. Yes. And Lord, Thank you said you. if if we wouldn't do it, oh, but they'd Lord get Jesus. to do it. And God, all creation is yes. praising you. And yes. we give you glory, yes. Lord, Thank alongside you. of yes. all creation. Oh, Thank we you, worship Jesus. you. We, worship we you, praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Thank just you, even Jesus. now, I don't even know. Just continue to pray. I yes, just, I, I just Jesus. feel like Thank the Holy you. Spirit is just yes, doing a work. So, so, just, just continue. Yes, Lord mm. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we do lift up our legislators and those that yes. make decisions on behalf of the people yes. of this yes. nation Jesus. and this state and our cities that Thank we're from. You. Father, we know that when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Yes. Yes. And when the wicked rule, the people groan. Yes. Uh -huh. God, we're asking for righteous rule. God, yes. would you come and put righteousness in the places of yes. legislation, Lord, Thank that the laws of this land would not be an offense to you, would Thank not be you. grievous to your spirit. Amen. Father, we're asking in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God, we see how there are pockets in blessings oh, in other lands and other countries, God. We have heard it when yes. presidents of nations will bow down before yes. the Lordship of Christ oh, and Jesus. repent and renounce their works Thank of you. darkness. And God, we've seen through the Thank transformation you. videos, God, of documentation yes, of you yes, moving yes. all across the nations of Jesus, the world. And yes. we're asking God for here in America. Yes. Amen. We're asking oh. it, God, for here in our nation, yes. in our yes. state, Lord, in our city, in our capital. We're asking it, yes. God, in Jesus. the name of Jesus, that you would come, Amen. God, and you would mm -hmm. produce, Father, something that is so holy Jesus. and so Thank beautiful you. and so righteous Thank that, God, Jesus. it will cause the nations of the world to recognize you, God, even in America. Yes. Father, that we Jesus. are a nation Amen. that will honor you and will work worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we're asking God for the church of Jesus Christ to yes. rise up and to be faithful in this hour, Thank to pray you. and to seek your face. Oh, like yes. Second Chronicles said, if we will do that, God. Yes. You will open up the windows of heaven and yes. you will pour out a blessing Lord. and you yes. will heal our land. Jesus. God, we're asking God. It begins Thank with you. individuals and it flows Thank over you, into Lord the Jesus. church and then into the land. God, yes. we're asking Father for revival. Yes. Come once again, Holy Spirit. Yes. We need you and we welcome Thank you in every you, aspect Jesus. of our culture, every aspect, God, of our Jesus. lives. God, yes. we need you in every dimension. Yes. Father, we invite you and we yes. say, have your way, Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And Angela, one more time, just keep praying. Yes, right Father, we thank you, Lord. You've told us to be the salt of the earth, yes, Lord. Lord. We are praying for your church right now, yes, Lord God. Jesus, Lord. It's been so long that we've been, been so stuck long, within Lord. our walls, oh Lord Jesus, Lord. But we want to go out, oh Lord. 
We want to go yes, into this right. world. We want to penetrate into this world. We yes, want to Lord. go to the parks, ah. the governments, the streets. So oh, Lord ah. Jesus, Lord, and show your love to people. Yes, you've you give, you've, you've blessed us with your Holy Spirit, O oh, Lord. Yes, you've Lord. poured out your Spirit into mm -hmm. us, O oh, Lord. And Father, we are your hands. Yes. We are your feet, O oh, Lord. We want to take your word out. We want to take your love out, O oh, Lord Jesus, and penetrate the land, O oh, Lord. I remember those transformation videos. O oh Lord, how yeah. you come through your people through a time of revival in the church and it spreads into the land. It changes yes. the atmosphere. It changes yes. the crops. It changes the way people yes. are. It closes down the taverns. Lord Jesus, Lord, yes. it has an impact in the society. Oh Lord yes. Jesus, yes. Lord, we are looking for such a revival. Oh Lord, yes. we are looking for a time when people would stop in the streets and pray. Amen. We are looking, Lord Jesus, for the ordinary people people, O oh Lord Jesus, to do extraordinary things because you are in them, O oh Lord Jesus, Lord. We want our city, we want our state to become an example again. We want us to be a city on a hill, Lord Jesus, Lord, that would be seen and become example for our nation, O oh Lord Jesus. And Father, we've seen glimpses of these things, but we are longing for more. Lord Jesus, last time when we were here, you said when we see rain to ask for more. Lord, we are crying out for more rain, more Lord. Lord. More. Shower drops more. here and there are more. falling, Lord. We want more. Lord, we want more of that storm. We want more of your power, oh Lord Jesus. We want more of your love. We want more of this. We want more of this unity, oh Lord Jesus, Lord. We pray that your presence would be abundant, Lord, in the lives of your people. Father God, we pray especially for those who are listening, oh Lord Jesus, Lord, that have been praying for more of your presence, Lord, Lord, forgetting about it everything else, oh Lord. There's a song that we sing, Lord Jesus, I want more of Jesus, so I'll give him more of me. Yeah. Lord, we yes, want to empty ourselves yes, of ourselves that you can right fill us, oh Lord. We want our churches to be emptied of its own things, oh Lord. That your, your presence, your Holy Spirit would flow through, oh Lord. We want to remove strange love, oh Lord. We want to remove love of money. We want to remove love of things, oh Lord, that your love would fill that place, oh Lord. We want to remove strange fire that your Holy Spirit fire would fill us, oh, oh Lord God, Jesus, Lord. Like it. Elijah did on Mount Carmel, oh Lord Jesus, you come, oh Lord. Yes. This sacrifice yes. that yes. we are offering, yes. oh Lord. Yes. Lord, setting up the altar yes. again, oh Lord, Amen. that you would come in fire, oh Lord Jesus. Fire, oh Father, fire, and then the fire, rain would Lord. come. Yes. Lord, the times, oh Lord Jesus, of the famine would be ended in our land, oh Lord Jesus. Yes. And Father, we are asking you, Lord, only you can do. We have nothing here, Lord, that we can nothing, offer nothing, but nothing, ourselves, oh Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. So even right now, yes, we empty ourselves, oh Lord. We are praying again for those who are listening to this prayer. Yes. Lord, we are asking in their hearts, Lord, I don't have anything to give. Yes. I don't have much to give. I don't have much, Lord. Uh -huh. You can pick fishermen. Uh -huh. You can pick a jawbone of an ass, oh Lord Jesus, yeah. Lord. Yeah. You can pick anything, oh Lord Jesus. You can even use us, oh Lord. Yeah. You can use yeah. each one of us. We can use the people that are there, that are listening. Yes. Yes. You speak yes. into their hearts yes. right now, yes. oh Lord Jesus, yes. whether spending time in your presence, whether yeah. taking the phone right and now. calling somebody and encouraging them. Lord, I don't know what you've called them to do, to be in their places, Lord, whether they're in a storefront or in their hospitals or wherever, Lord, that they would become examples, they would become oh, instruments of your love, O oh Lord Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, help our eyes to be focused on you. Lord, you will provide all our needs, Lord. We don't have to worry about that. We want yeah. to focus on thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Yes. Let our eyes be upon you. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and Father, I just, I just remember Jesus. when I was young, thank you. going to this concert in Massey Hall in Toronto, and seeing a lot of these different gospel groups singing and, 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 and they were outstanding singers and musicians and they just were wonderful to hear. And then these three men got up, the McDuff brothers. They just raised their hands. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord <laughs> Get to Jesus. Sing. More, yes. more about Jesus. Hallelujah. More, Jesus. more Thank you, Lord about Jesus. Jesus. Thank about you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. And, and, and all of the, all of the, the musical entertainment, that it just all paled. 
<laughs> it all paled in yes, comparison to Lord what happened Jesus. in that place. Yes, when the focus came on you, and nobody was seeing people anymore. Nobody was watching entertainment. Nobody was looking at, at the things of the natural because our hearts were drawn to you. And Father, we just say more, more of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. More of you, God. More of your presence. More of your power. More of your life. Jesus, More of Jesus, you Jesus, breaking Jesus, through, Jesus, through Jesus, on all of the veneers, Jesus, all of the superficiality, Jesus, all of the Jesus, things that we that Jesus, we think we need Jesus, to kind of prop up Jesus, something about the expression of the gospel. Lord, if we can see you lifted up, you will do the work. You've promised to accomplish the purposes. So, Father, we just simply pray yes, this yes. into place. Yes, Lord. Father, there's such Jesus. agreement in our hearts. Yes. You can just sense it. Thank you. Just sense it. Jesus. There's such agreement, Lord. Thank you. you desire Thank you. that men and women would just set aside any personal agendas yes. to bring our hearts into this simple subjection yes. to you. Father, we appreciate great teaching and preaching. We do. We appreciate wonderful music. We just do something inside of us. It inspires us and it moves us. But Lord, it's just to see you. It's just to see you. When we see you, we are changed. When yes. we gaze on your beauty, beauty. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. nothing compares. Nothing yes. compares. Nothing, nothing compares. Thank you. So, Father, thank you. Thank, thank you for thank what you. you've given us. Thank this you. this richness thank of you. what we're experiencing you. here. I, 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 I hope we're not out of touch, people, with some something that is meaningful or has some value in in in, in, in your experience in, in these moments. Jesus. Jesus, but Lord, Jesus. you're doing Holy something Lord. in this era and in this yes. time. Jesus. We're in an hour Thank you, Lord. that is a very special, special day you, Jesus. of your outpouring. You, yes, and Father, Thank you told us in your word you, to discern the times, yes. to stay aware to know when you are moving so we will not miss the day of our visitation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father, Thank you, Lord. to the best of our abilities, Jesus. to the very best of our abilities, best, Lord, Lord Jesus. we engage in Thank this very Lord. hour, in this very moment. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Yes, we just welcome you and we praise you, Thank you Lord. for doing what you do best. Jesus, thank you. You just minister thank your Jesus. life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I, Go I, ahead. I, yes. I, yes. I, I really, I feel God telling that uh, He's giving beauty for ashes. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, you're, maybe somebody's listening that lost something that was precious to them and it feels like ashes laid at their feet. And, God is telling you that God wants to give you beauty for ashes. <laughs> a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Yes. Maybe this thing has weighed you down so yeah. much that God wants to put that garment of praise. That the garment that we are feeling right now that God is clothing us with, that our yes. hearts are so filled with praise. Absolutely. And oil of joy for mourning. Yes. And whatever mourning that you've gone through, I don't know why God is telling me I'm not somebody that prophesies or like, you know, says prophet, I'm not that. But I really feel God putting in my heart to share this. God is going to do something. God is doing something already. And I don't know whatever you're going through. God is able to change it. Just look to Jesus. Thank Forget you, about the things. All the things of this earth will Thank grow strangely yes. dim in the light of His glory and His grace. And yes. This evening, just let's lift up our eyes to Jesus. Let's look upon His face and let's really, because we are His children, what more do we need? Oh, we have Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 
thank you father we thank you lord we pray for those people lord that might be have been in mourning for so many years lord i don't know what but you're going to change something for them right now lord jesus you are doing something <laughs> you in life so you are do it lord jesus do it lord help us lord help us lord jesus thank you hallelujah thank this is a true jesus. word thank you jesus. it's a true word receive thank you, jesus. receive thank you, what jesus. god's imparting thank you there the, the brokenness in 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 dreams and in yes. in in aspirations, yeah. in yeah. in yeah. in visions that have 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 gone their course and yeah. died yeah. and 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 make you feel in despair. Mm -hmm. God will raise yes. you up, yes. Yes. Uh, Marlene. Jesus. I I just I just feel like God Jesus. might be giving you something that yeah. could you know. testify to yeah. that and and, and yep. impart that yeah. that light. And just look at that camera and yes, just sir. give it to people. Amen. So I, I finished writing my fourth book. It's called Get Understanding and Then We'll Talk. And it's from Job, chapter 2, verse 18. And basically, when you go through difficulties, uh, trials, uh, challenges, devastation, heartache, loss, you don't have the understanding of why am I going through this? What is it? What, have, what did I do wrong? What have I done? I, am I being punished for something? Am I suffering because of my sin? All these kind of things when you go through difficulty and challenges, it comes in like a flood. And um, one of the chapters in my book is about Naomi and Ruth. Naomi lost her husband and she lost her two sons and Ruth lost her husband. The difference between the two is Naomi said, now call me Mara for the Lord has dealt with me and now I'm bitter. But Ruth didn't get bitter through what she went through. Ruth had an optimism of the future. She put her trust in God. She actually left her people to be able to stay with Naomi to look out for her. Instead of being consumed in her grief and her loss, she chose to look out for her mother-in-law. Oh, she chose yeah. to make sure that someone Ooh. else was being taken care of Ooh. instead of her looking to take care of herself. Yeah. And I, I know that loss. I know that place of heartache when someone that you love, a dream that you had that God gave you and it didn't seem to come out to pass the way that you'd hoped, mm. a ministry that you thought God was going to birth through you or God was going to do something through you and, and, and it didn't turn out the way that you'd hoped and the devastation of that. We can be like Naomi and say, I'm bitter. Or we can be like Ruth and say, I don't understand right now, but I'm going to trust the Lord and later we'll talk. Mm -hmm. There's a journey between what happens to you between what you understand of what happens and in that place, the enemy is there to capitalize on that brokenness, to capitalize on that sorrow and that suffering and that disappointment and discouragement and get, to try to get you to curse God, just like Job's wife said. Mm -hmm. Curse God and die. Mm -hmm. Job's like, I'm not going to curse God. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. He trusted in the Lord, as Proverbs said, with all of his heart. And he didn't lean to his own understanding. He acknowledged him in all of his ways. And God restored Job. God is never the author of the loss and the devastation of the pandemics or all of that. God's not the author, but God will use it to unveil our hearts to see what's in us of the places that we already doubt, that we already have questions and concerns about. God will use those places to unveil that and to show us what's in our own hearts. I thought, God, you said if I asked and if I prayed, that you'd do it, but it didn't happen the way that I thought. And so God, instead of me shaking my finger at you mm. and accusing you or, or condemning you, know, you or allowing the enemy to condemn me or accuse me, I'm going to stand in this place and I'm going to trust you that you're going to give me understanding. And I dedicated my book to my son that I lost. And I said, son, there's going to come a day that I will get understanding when I stand in the presence of God with you and then we'll talk. Yes, wow. yes. Then we'll talk. Yeah, you know, it's. It, I, I'm just going to share this little word play that actually Charlotte's mother, Hannah, um, she preached a message that I remember from the time I was pretty young. And she talked about you can become bitter or you can become better. better. Yeah. And the difference 
is in the I, mm. the one little letter between bitter and or bad. better. Mm -hmm. And you change that one letter and it becomes a whole different meaning, a whole different yeah. word. And for you today, God is going to take the bitter and the mm -hmm. temptation to nurture bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to transform that by you, the I in you, the singular letter. Like God said, I am. So I have to change. Yeah. I'm the one that has to make mm. this transformation. It, we know it comes from God, but it is somehow knit together mm. with us being yeah. able to say the yes, yes to the Holy Spirit, to be able to move with yeah. him. And that's what he's calling each of us into, and he's calling yeah. you into that right now. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, we're just Jesus. going to receive this word from Marlene. Yes. And we're going to just ask that you will superintend yes. this. Angel, just pray into this a little yes. bit. Amen. I know Father, God can use you in this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. What a beautiful thought, oh Lord Jesus. Lord, it all depends upon us, Lord, like Naomi and Ruth. What a beautiful thought. We may not understand, Lord. You don't ask us to lean on our understanding, yep. Lord. It doesn't matter. It right. doesn't matter at all, yeah. Lord. We are the clay. You are the potter. Yeah. You are the one that needs to understand. And you have infinite understanding. And you know exactly what you're doing yes. with our lives, oh Lord. And so we give ourselves to you. To you. Lord, and we want to forget about looking at ourselves and pitying ourselves and yep. becoming bitter. We want to look out, oh Lord Jesus, for others. Lord, you said even those who suffer, Lord, you said you can comfort those who have suffered yeah. because with the comfort you've given us, Lord, and I pray that this experience that people are going through, Lord, is for good eventually, Lord. It's for good. There is nothing that happens yes. to us, Lord, yes. that is, Lord, that verse that came to me this morning, this light suffering which is but for a season worketh for us an exceedingly yes. great and eternal <laughs> weight exactly. of glory. Yes. So, Father, whatever we are going through, Lord, you have a purpose mm -hmm. in permitting any of these things, O oh Lord. So, we are so grateful, Lord. We didn't plan on this. We were talking about National Year Prayer or team from Korea. <laughs> But it's your work, oh Lord. Your work. <laughs> the way you want it is what we want to. Yes. So we give ourselves. Yes. Exactly. You work it out, oh Lord you Jesus. And Lord, you do it, oh Lord. And help us to keep our eyes on you. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. And that's all we can, we want to do even this evening, oh Lord. Yes. We are grateful. Grateful. We are grateful yes. for you. Yes. We are grateful for your love. We are grateful yeah. that you are our God. We are grateful that you are our potter. We are so grateful, Lord Jesus. We give ourselves in your hands. You do it you do in it. your way. time, in you your way, oh Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. Lord, because you know best, oh Lord, yes. way better than we ever you can. You do. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You do. Yes. You do. Thank Marlene, you. I, I know that you've got a women's conference that's going to be coming up in, in June. Yep. Maybe you could just share a little bit about it, sure. and then we're going to uh, share a little bit more with Angelo about sure. some of the things that are happening yep. in the future with National Day of Prayer. Yep. So every year I do a women's conference. I started out at House on the Rock in Gloucester, but we've outgrown there. So now we use the auditorium at Northmont Bible College, uh, 320 South Main Street in Haverhill, and uh, it is a glorious time. Our guest speaker is Lisa Stringer. She's oh, coming wow. from yeah, wow. she's coming yeah. from Texas. Uh, Lisa is an amazing woman of God. She has uh, what a story to tell, incredible story, and how God has used her. And I can't get into it, it's too much. But anyway, <laughs> she was in the industry of the arts and she even worked with some people like Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I mean, amazing how God used her. But the bottom line is she's gonna come and bring in a powerful word. We've got ministry that's gonna be happening throughout the time, uh, breakout groups, it's gonna be awesome. June 9 through 10, and you can get the information on ccfinternational.org. Let me do it again. Okay. CCF international.org and uh, the registration is there and we are limited on how many we can have the auditorium only holds 125 people so if you want to get in do it now the deadline is May 21 Wow that's great and, and Charlotte's coming yes and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised and if you Bonnie. see some some other people that are yeah. going to be coming as as well because 
You know, it, it, this we're just experiencing life. Mm-hmm. It's just life that's happening. Mm-hmm. Angelo, you've got a couple of things that you can share. I know that the in this northeast part yes. of the National Day of Prayer, the group is going to be meeting, and Charlotte and I are going to yeah. going to be in there with you as well. You've invited us to be able to share in that experience, but tell people about it. Yeah, so we are meeting together in uh, Kingston. New Hampshire, I think I, I can put the, we'll get the banner out for you so you can post it here. Uh, but gathering together of the leadership in the Northeast, so you're welcome to join and come and I'm looking forward to having you and uh, Charlotte there as well. And it's a wonderful time of prayer. Just, you know, we spend a lot of time praying. That's yeah. pretty much what we do. Yeah. And National Day of Prayer is normally the first Thursday of May, but it's not a, the organization doesn't focus on that one day. We have prayer throughout, right? There's 24 hour prayer chain going. There's a, lot of prayer that happens. It's an everyday uh, thing. It's not just a one day event. So there's a lot of, of these events happening and you know we'll get the information out to you. But if you want to find more, nationaldayofprayer.org is the website and you know you can see all the events that are going on there as well. Amen. Well, this is, you know, there's just so many wonderful things that God is doing. There, We're going to be gathering again uh, on this last uh, Friday of May, and, and and Dr. Elijah Kim is going to be a part of that, and, and I know other churches are coming and gathering with us to be able to pray as well. Yeah. And we invite you, just make it a priority. It's like when we come together and we pray, there is an impartation of strength that we all receive. It's almost as though God just, I I don't know, he he somehow needs us. Mm. We know God is omnipotent, Mm. all powerful. He can do it all. He can do it all. (laughs) But but he he waits for us, Mm. you know, to, actually this is what I think it happens. He waits for us to wait on him. Mm. So he can do what he has decided he will do. And we then step into it and we become the testimony Mm. of his power being released. So we look forward to the different times that we are going to be able to be together and share together and experience God together. Thank you both for being here with us here this evening. And we'll pray blessing upon every one of you as you go into the rest of your week. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you next week.